That one's a really interesting one, actually. In the lab, we're adding to our picture of the landscape as it looked when it was first farmed. They're dung beetles. Where'd you get them? We got them from the section where we were doing the processing in the stream. And what do they tell us? Um, they actually tell us about the environment. They're telling us that there were animals uh, grazing in the area uh, when the deposit was formed. How can you work that out? Because there was lots of dung and that's what they were interested in. OK, this tells us there was animal dung here, but can you work out which animals the dung came from? You can sometimes, yes. Um, they tend to be associated with large herbivores such as cows, um, sheep, goat and pigs and horses and things like that. So, yeah, they can be quite useful. Is it true you sometimes dream about beetles? It is, Tony, yes. What kind of dreams? Um, I had a nightmare about one last, one last night. <laughs> this is a big one? It was a very big one. <laughs> it's just after lunch on our final day and at last something's come up in Trench 3 that could focus this whole dig. It's a small sherd of pottery. And this could be the first piece of evidence that puts our house circle firmly into the Bronze Age. Carl, I'm so, so excited about this because this is the first piece of pottery we've had in this trench. Well, I think you're very right to be excited. Um, this is um, Bronze Age pottery. It's what we call Trevisca ware here in Cornwall. It dates from the Middle Bronze Age. So, yes, this is a very exciting piece. And I've just noticed on the interior, if you look carefully, you can see the black area. Yeah. That's actually internal residue, and that's the last meal that was cooked in this pot. So we're, we're, we're thinking it's about 1500. Yeah, it's around about 1500 BC. It's odd that something that looks so insignificant can tell us so much. This piece of Cornish Trevisca ware confirms this was a Bronze Age home. And what's more, we know they were cooking here three and a half thousand years ago. Back in the farmhouse, Ben and Emma are beginning to run tests on some floor surfaces from the house in Trench 1 and material from Phil's cairn. Organic matter, such as discarded food or animal dung, rots down and leaves phosphates. Animal dung was commonly used as fuel in Bronze Age houses, and by running these tests, it could give us an indication of the level of human activity. Because... Well, obviously, sat around the fire, it's waste, rubbish being dropped onto the ground, and that's that persists in the soil over, over the millennia, basically. Emma, what are your initial impressions? Um, basically, we've got the hearth sample that's gone very blue, very quickly, lots of phosphate, lots of activity. All the way through the, the centre of the house, we've got, you know, again, evidence of phosphate, and even outside of the door, and that's really gone quite blue, and that went quite fast, didn't yeah. it, Ben? Yeah. Again, we've got evidence of phosphate. On the lower line, there are three that have hardly any phosphate at all and one with just a tinge. Where were they from? Phil's trench in the bank cairn. Um, as you can see, we're not really getting much evidence for, for phosphate, high phosphate levels in those at all. So, you know, a clear distinction between the different trenches in terms of the concentration of phosphates in the soils. This is the sort of science I can really identify with. These organic remains have been locked in the soil for thousands of years. The phosphates also tell us there was little human or animal activity near the cairn. It was possibly a place kept sacred to the memory of the ancestors. Hello, my name's John Gator. Time Team is fan-funded by Patreon. This vital support helps us to make new episodes. Joining Patreon gives you access to exclusive interviews, 3D models and masterclasses, plus lots more.